Hi yogis, today we're gonna do a 30 minute mood boosting yoga flow together. Thank you for joining me today, let's get started. Let's all meet on our mats. We'll start today in a seated meditation, but I'd like us to do it in Vajrasana, which is like sitting on your knees, like a kneeling seat, like this, where the knees and the feet are together, and you're sitting on your feet to get an extra ankle stretch in our meditation. It's also a great seated pose with a nice long posture here. It's kind of hard to slouch in this position. So just bring your hands to your thighs. Start to close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Pay attention to it as if it was the first time you've ever really noticed it before. Seeing where you feel it the most, maybe from the nose or the chest or the belly or somewhere else. And just observing your breath. If your mind starts to wander elsewhere from focusing on your breath, I'd like you to try this method of seeing it, acknowledging it, and releasing it. What is it? It's that wandering thought. So whenever something just pops up into your head, you notice it, you acknowledge that it's there, and then you release it and return back to the breath. This is an amazing meditation technique to really hone in on the present moment, stay present in the mind, stay focused on your breath and on your body. Just by practicing this simple meditation technique, it can really help in boosting the mood and making you feel less stressed, more present, happier, make better decisions in your life, in the future, an amazing technique for the brain and thinking methods. Also, if this seat isn't so comfortable for you, you can place a pillow in between your thighs um, and your calves if it's too much pressure on the ankles, or you can sit in a different way if it's really unbearable, that's okay as well. Just be here for another minute practicing that meditation technique together. Take a couple more deep breaths before we move forward. And slowly open your eyes to a more calm world than the one you had just moments ago, I'm sure. And slowly bring your hands behind you onto your fingertips and start to lean onto them, opening the heart forward, chest forward, maybe dropping the head back a little bit. If it's too much for the neck, you can keep it forward. Just find a nice place for you in this deep heart opener in our seated pose. Heart openers are also a great way to instantly boost your mood 
Usually when you're in a more of a sad mood or a, a down mood, your body tends to crunch forward and close in and collapse. So when we open up the chest and the heart forward, our body and mind react to that as well, feeling brave and proud, open to the universe, feeling infinite love radiate from your heart to the world. It's a brave and courageous posture, opening the heart and chest forward like this. Slowly move forward. Place your right hand on the ground and inhale, bring the left hand up, coming into a gentle side bend here, looking towards the left side. Lower down the hand. Let's switch sides, moving our weight in towards left hand now and lifting up the right hand, looking towards the right side. Lower down the right hand. Let's bring the left hand to our right knee. And the right hand comes behind our back, wrapping around. You can catch it on the other side of your belly. <laughs> and turn towards the right side. No need to turn back, going into an intense twist. Just a gentle seated twist here, looking towards the right. the hands. Let's change sides. Right hand to the left outer knee. Left hand comes behind the back, wrapping around the belly. Look towards the left. Taking a couple deep breaths here in this gentle twist. And slowly release. Let's move our hands onto the ground, coming into a tabletop position. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the waist. Spread those fingers apart and really press into your fingers, fingers feeling the strength in your hands, the power in your hands. And we'll start to circle on them, just warming up the wrist joints slightly in the shoulders, hips. Just a little joint warm up here. Still focus on your breath and connecting it with your movements. And change direction. Let's come onto our forearms for a moment, bringing the palms of the hands together and just rocking forward and back. Focusing on the shoulders here, as well as core strength a bit to stay stable as we move our body forward and back. And slowly come back up to your tabletop, come onto your toes and lift your hips up, coming into a downward dog. Adjust yourself as needed. Hit a feet, hips distance, hands, shoulder distance. Maybe just walking out the legs for a moment in our first downward dog, warming up those hamstrings. Really push the weight from your hands to your feet much as you can while maintaining a nice long straight spine. And slowly walk the feet towards your hands. Inhale, slowly rise up to an upward hand position. Hands towards the sky, look towards your fingertips and exhale. Hands to heart center, namaste in, in samastiti. <sighs> Practice with our balance. 
So we'll take the left foot and lift it just slightly above the floor, getting to know our balance on our right foot. Just taking a mental note on how you're feeling today, balancing on that side. And start to move the foot, the left foot around the right foot, adding movement here. Seeing if it makes you feel more balanced or less balanced, just observing. When we work on balancing postures, our mind has to focus in order to stay balanced. So if your mind wanders, you'll find the balance postures more difficult. So we like to practice these balancing postures so that our mind can really focus on the present moment and on our body and balancing and not on wandering thoughts. Let's add a little bit more of a challenge here and close the eyes. It's also a challenge, but it's also playful. And it's okay if you have to open your eyes because it's a bit scary or you feel like you're gonna fall or if your foot has to touch the ground for a moment to get your balance back. Just adding a playful attitude here smiling, seeing how you can balance on your right foot without looking. Inhale, lift the left knee as high as possible, knee to chest. Exhale, let's lower the foot down behind us and grab it with our left hand on the inside of our foot by the big toe, preparing us for dancer pose. Inhale, right hand comes up towards the sky. Exhale, let's lean forward. As much as is comfortable for you, you can also stay up here. Lowering the chest down, reaching with the right hand forward and kicking up with the left leg into your left hand. One more deep breath. Then slowly lower the leg, raise the right arm. Let's switch hands, bring your right hand to your left foot and lift the left hand. Inhale, reach up with the left hand, creating nice space in the spine. Exhale, let's lower the left hand down to the ground slowly, working on our balance here. You can adjust your grip on your left foot if you need to. Then again, kick up into your hand, coming into a revolved uh, half moon pose with a bent leg variation, and look towards the right. One more deep breath. And slowly drop the leg down and your hand, coming into a forward fold. Taking a moment in your forward fold here, maybe walking out the legs. If you need any props, you can use props if you're not touching the ground yet. Hmm. Take a deep breath. And let's walk the feet back, coming into a downward dog. Take one deep breath here. And let's lift the left leg up, coming into a one-legged down dog. Inhale, lift the leg as high as possible. Exhale, let's bring the knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Keep going a couple more. Activating the core a bit, allowing us to feel more energized, more excited for the day, more power in our body. One more. Knee to nose, and let's drop the foot forward in between our hips. We'll slowly walk the hands towards the center of the mat and turn in our feet also towards the center of the mat, coming into a wide angle fold. Hmm. Any pose where our heart is above our head is considered an inversion pose. And inversion pose poses are great for boosting the mood. It allows more circulation and oxygen to travel to the brain, making it work less hard, 
and feel more calm. <sighs> Taking a couple deep breaths here. Feeling this nice deep stretch in the hamstrings. And with every deep breath, you feel like all your troubles are just rolling off of your back, out of your body. That's what I feel. I hope you feel that too. Let's slowly walk the hands back towards our left foot. Swing back to our one-legged dog. Inhale, lift the leg as high as possible. Exhale, let's come down to the ground with our bellies, keeping the left leg up, almost like a one-legged chaturanga. Leaning forward, left leg stays up, bending the elbows close to the body, and lower the body to the floor. Inhale, coming into a cobra, leaving the legs on the floor, opening the heart forward, again, feeling brave and courageous here. Head rolls back, Activating that throat chakra, working on our communication, igniting it. How we speak our truth. One more deep breath here. And tuck the toes underneath. Lift up to your downward dog. And walk the feet one by one, just inching forward, the feet towards the hand, having a little playful attitude here. Hmm. Exhale into your forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, rest. Let's change sides. That was fun, wasn't it? Moving to balance on the left leg now, lifting the right leg slightly off the ground. Towards the center. Just taking a moment to observe the balance on your left foot now. Seeing if there's any differences than when we first started on the right foot. If it feels more stable or more wobbly. Just observing completely without judgment. Just love. <laughs> and let's start circling the right foot around the left leg. Back and forth. Adding a little bit of movement here. And your hands can be wherever they please. I bring them to heart center because that makes me feel more secure, more balanced. Then let's close our eyes to activate that playfulness, that extra challenge here. You can't do this wrong, so really just play around. <laughs> and inhale, bring that right knee as high as possible, knee to chest. Exhale, swing it back and grab the foot with your right hand from the inside by the big toe. Inhale, left hand comes up. Preparing us for dancer pose. Exhale, if you choose to, start lowering down with the upper body and kicking up your right foot into your right hand. Focus on one point that's really helping you balance. Press into your left foot. One more deep breath. And slowly lift back up, inhale. Exhale, let's switch hands. Grabbing the right foot with your left hand. Right hand comes up, inhale. Exhale, let's slowly lower down the right hand towards the ground. And kick your right foot into your left hand. Coming into a revolved half moon, slowly looking towards the left if possible. You can also stay looking forward if that helps you balance more easily. One more deep breath. And slowly lower the foot in the hand to the ground, coming to a forward fold. Hmm. We're 
releasing for a moment here, walking out the legs if you need. Just give your leg a little hug for a moment. It's okay if you're not so flexible and close. You can just hold the thighs. Or you can come in and give yourself a little big juicy forward fold hug. <sighs> Say hello to your knees or wherever you're lifting on your body. Release the hands back down towards the ground and walk back to your downward dog. Again, adjusting is needed to have that nice, beautiful alignment. Let's inhale the right leg up now. To our one-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Couple more at your own pace, activating that core. Feeling energized and powerful. And bring the knee to nose, exhale. Drop the foot in between your hands. Turn towards the center of your mat. Feet also turn towards the center of the mat. And exhale, lower down into your wide-legged forward fold. Again, a version of an inversion. <laughs> really press into the outside of your feet here, lifting the arches of your soles, of the sole of your feet. <sighs> Breathing deeply here, feeling this deep hamstring stretch as well. One more deep breath. And turn towards your right foot. Slide the foot all the way back to your one-legged dog. Inhale up. Exhale and let's go into our one-legged chaturanga, belly to the ground movement. You're leaning forward onto your hands and keeping the elbows close, lowering down to your belly with one leg in the air still until you reach the belly towards the ground. Drop both feet and inhale up into your beautiful cobra. Heart radiating forward, shoulders away from the ear. <sighs> Feeling only love and happiness here. Love for your body, love for your surroundings, for your shelter, for your courage and playfulness to practice yoga. And tuck the toes. Coming back up into your down dog. Walk the feet forward to your feet, inch by inch, playfully. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, samastitihi, rest. Inhale, the hands come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Walking back to your down dog. And let's bend the knees and come back into a child's pose. Just sitting on your heels. Really push the weight from your hands to your heels to feel really nice and grounded here. I think this is, we can all agree, the most safest, secure, comfortable position to feel totally at one with our body and rested and calm. So let's just be here for a moment. Taking maybe 10 deep breaths here, feeling your breath against your thighs.
Slowly walk the fingers back up. Bring our legs underneath and come to a seated bound angle pose. Our feet are together, the soles of our feet. We're coming into this gentle hip opener posture. If it's really deep for you, you can place pillows under your knees if you need. You can place your hands behind you, adding this extra heart opening um, variation, or you can come forward into a forward fold, going deeper into the hip region. I'll allow you to choose which option suits you better today and feels more comfortable for you. We'll be here for a moment. openers are also a great way um, to feel better because we store a lot of our emotional uh, blockages or trauma or stress in our hip region so when we go into hip openers we allow them to release out of our bodies feeling more safe and calm less um, with this emotional blockages in the hip region. So all hip openers are great ways to just feel calmer. Whatever you need to. And if you're having a really emotional time, always go to hip openers and I promise you'll feel better afterwards. Slowly come back up to center. Let's close the legs and lift them up, coming into boat pose, Navasana. You can hold the back of your thighs and stay here, just balancing on your sit bones. Or for that extra challenge, you can remove the hands and bring them forward and straighten the legs as much as is comfortable for you, as long as you're staying on the sit bones and not rolling back to your lower back. A couple deep breaths here. You can close the eyes and really just imagine that you're a boat in a stormy sea and you're really preserving yourself and staying strong and you're gonna make it out of the stormy sea. I believe in you. We're in this together. All of our boats together. We're gonna make it out. That's like a really great pose to just Relate that to your thoughts. Whenever your mind goes to negative places or wandering thoughts or listening to the ego, just imagine yourself in a stormy sea and you're going to make it out. You're going to stay strong and balanced and release those thoughts. And slowly release the legs back down towards the ground and lay on your back. We're gonna come into shoulder stand. So lift the legs up 90 degrees. If you're not comfortable with the shoulder stand, you can come into a low bridge, feet on the ground lifting the hips. If you're with me, our legs are straight up. Inhale, lift up the body. Hands come to the lower back. Keep the neck in the center. Don't look towards the screen. Stay looking at your feet. Breathe deeply here for a moment. Like I said, with inversions, it's great for the brain. Breathing deeply. Inhale, reach the feet up a little bit higher, finding a little bit more of a straight body. Exhale, let's bring the right knee to your third eye, the place in between your eyebrows. You can keep the left leg straight or bent, it doesn't matter. Just pressing that right knee against your third eye for a moment. Connecting to that third eye chakra, your beautiful intuitive wisdom, your sight, your clarity for the world, your creativity. Inhale the legs back up to straight. 
Exhale, let's change legs, left knee to third eye. Again, you can choose to stay with the right leg straight or bent. Staying here for a couple breaths, activating that third eye. Inhale, back up to straight legs. Exhale, slowly lower down, using your core vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming back to that 90 degree angles, legs up in the air. And dropping the feet down towards the floor. <sighs> Let's come into fish pose, the counter pose to shoulder stand. After we did that nice throat lock, we'll now open it. So releasing the legs forward, straight, coming up onto your elbows. And lowering the head down, scooting the hips back slowly, slowly until the crown of your head reaches the floor. Taking five deep breaths here, feeling this beautiful open energy, brave, courageous, loving, peaceful energy radiating from your chest, heart, and throat. Slowly lower down, releasing the neck, head down towards the floor. We'll bring our feet up and grab them from the outside. Knees are also on the outside of your arms. Coming into happy baby. I think we can all agree that that's the best pose for mood boosting because it's called happy baby for a reason. Not only are we getting this beautiful deep hip opening stretch, we're also massaging the lower back and smiling, activating our perfect happy baby postures. Pulling on the feet in the direction of the knees towards the ground. You don't have to open the legs, they can stay bent. Making sure the head is relaxed on the ground. And feel free to rock side to side, massaging the back even more. Truly connecting to your happy baby, Slowly come back to center. Let's release the legs down to the floor, meeting each other in Shavasana. Legs can be as wide as your mat and wider. Hands by your hips. Palms facing up, open, ready to give and receive from the universe. Move the shoulders away from the ears and back down to the ground, making sure you're super relaxed in the shoulders. You can uh, contain a lot of stress in the shoulders, so sometimes without even knowing it, our shoulders are by our ears and we don't even know, we're not even aware of it. So let's be aware of our shoulders, really push them away, feeling that open calmness all through the upper chest region. <sighs> Start to return to your breath, just like we did in our seated meditation at the beginning of the practice. Paying attention to your breath as if this was the first time you ever noticed it before. Feeling the air against the tip of your nose, in and out. Again, I'd like you to practice this meditative method. If your mind wanders, just go back to the method of seeing it, acknowledging it, and releasing it. And returning back to your breath. Allowing your breath to feel and to act as an anchor, an anchor towards the present moment, towards your body, towards this practice. We'll be here for another minute, just practicing that method together.
Let's take a couple more deep breaths together, really filling up the body with new oxygen and light. Hmm. If you feel like releasing any sound with your breath or just in general, I highly encourage and recommend that your body releases all this stored energy when you don't make sound effects. Sometimes your body makes these gestures and it needs that extra sound to go the extra mile. So just allow yourself this moment to release whatever sound you want to make. Hmm. And leaving the eyes closed, let's meet each other in a comfortable seat. Feeling the circulation flow back down towards your body. Returning to your normal breath. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. I hope you feel instantly more calm and happy to take on your day ahead. I hope you enjoyed the practice. Thank you for coming today. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below. Thank you. Namaste.